During the Neolithic, the stage was being set for the arrival of Indo-European speaking groups, associated with the later courted Ware culture, who would dramatically reshape the genetic landscape of the Baltic region. The Combe ceramic culture lived at the crossroads of this transformation, interacting indirectly with steppe populations to the south while maintaining their distinct traditions. Tamula 1 stands as a genetic snapshot of a world just before the rise of Indo-European influence in Northern Europe. According to this Mesolithic QPADM run, she mainly descends from the Eastern hunter-gatherers, but with significant Western hunter-gatherer and Anatolian farmer admixture. We can break her ancestry down even further into ancient North Eurasians, Western hunter-gatherers, and Zudzwana. According to this model, the dominant Paleolithic ancestry component in her is the Western hunter-gatherer component, followed by the ancient North Eurasian component and the Zudzwana component. According to G25, she is closest to such modern ethnicities as Karelians and Finns. With trait predictor, she was predicted to have light hazel eyes, light brown hair, white skin, curly hair, and a snub nose shape. She was a worrier, had higher D2 receptor availability, high odds of autism, was lactose intolerant, had intermediate empathy levels, lower odds of epithelial cancers, highest odds of autoimmune disease, higher odds of obesity, and likely blood type O. She carried rare risk variants for autoimmune disease and Parkinson's. With beta-calc, she scored high for odds of bipolar disorder type 1, breast cancer, depression, hypertension, Parkinson's disease, and skin cancer. She scored low for odds of alcoholism, coronary artery disease, dermatitis, heart attack, multiple sclerosis, ovarian cancer, and type 1 diabetes. You can purchase her genome in 23andMe format from the link in the description.